Hello everybody, this is just a quick tutorial on how to remove a ME530 valve lock. Uh, it's pretty commonly used for uh, locking up propane tanks, uh, most commonly for uh, suppressed gas systems for whatever reason. Uh, you know, but there are a few pieces to it here. This is actually broken, but I'll explain how that works. Typically how you'll see this, um, you know, you've got your threaded piece which goes into the valve here. You've got your protective cover which goes on here and the design is to cover up where the actual hex is so that it freely spins but you have no way of accessing it. All right now what's typically going on is that inside of the cylinder here are these little locking mechanisms. Now this metal bracket is broken but if you look closely you can see the forks on the end. It's a complete it, it's a complete circle. There are four there are four of the forks on it. All right, but they all go in here perfectly aligned with the outside of the cover. All right, now I, I honestly believe I didn't do it this way. I think maybe just a small 3 8 uh, pipe, if you just slide it right in there and push it all the way back, that may be the right size to move these forks out of the way so that you can just basically um, just remove this piece. And then once this is exposed, you can just take it out. Now, in the event that you can't figure out how to do that or that doesn't work for some reason, all I used, all you have to do is take a flathead screwdriver, take it right against the edge here, so you'll see a tiny little gap in between the locking mechanism and then the, the spinning mechanism here, the cylinder, and in that gap you just, you know, classic, put your small screwdriver there, hit it with a hammer until you get a little tiny gap there uh, pull it to the center because the metal will bend up and you can sort of you know pull it into the middle here and just some pliers or vice grips whatever it may be you can latch onto it and just yank you'll be able to rip these right out it, it, this one actually came out in two pieces uh, you know you may get it out in one piece it doesn't really matter once it comes out it just pops right off and you're able to remove this okay and that's without any sort of special key Good luck to you.